Shall we, shall we start? No? Ladies first? No, say it, because I think it sounds really nice with your accent. Well, Archwell Audio. Arch, yeah. Archwell Audio. I mean... Really? <laughs> shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Today is December 2nd, 2024. It is 5.12 a.m. I've already did video number one. I've edited it and I'm rendering it right now so I could make it public by 6 o'clock. Um, there it is here. This is the first part here. All right. So now I'm going to focus on this video. These are some tweets that I saw and I didn't want to mix it with the derangers, the negative salty island type of tweet. And I wanted to put it over here. So I have about nine tweets to share with you. Most of them don't have much comment under them. It's just random tweets that the squads were uh, tweeting about. So I grabbed some of them to share with you. Okay, so let's look at the background. 4,015 subscribers, new subscribers welcome, estimate revenue $34.08. This is not going anywhere. Even though the subscribers are going up, the estimate revenue almost always remain the same. Analytics, 81 views in the last 48 hours. I'm okay with that because I haven't been posting much on this channel. So 84 views sounds reasonable considering the way my channel is and uh, you know the suppression and everything else all right so let's go on twitter this i have it on the list it's further down okay i just put it on the list and i will read that first tweet okay only a stupid person will live that life picture number one which is this okay there they are in california marriage kids family happy and everything else okay that's the first one uh, why only a stupid person will live that life picture number one which i just show a happy and thriving life to go back to that scapegoat life picture two look at him holding his shoes uh look <laughs> his shoes oh my god there's the i think that was that fragment okay him eating outside like that that, that fragment there's the place they gave him fragment cottage there they are here and you have all these people backstabbing you screaming yelling come at your place to push you against the ball uh the dog bowl and everything like that that was from his uh, book spare all uh, right uh picture number two only a stupid person and prince harry isn't one life in monticito u.s freedom versus the scapegoat life he live in the snake pit uk that's for sure okay there's 13 retweet no comment under it I think some of the squad moved to uh, well, Blue Sky. I'm there too, but um, I haven't been posting much. Next tweet. For years, the British royal family expected Prince Harry to carry their weight, all while resenting him for being the most relatable and popular member of the Gilded Clan. This is an article, but I'm not going to read it. Um, yeah. There's one image of thumbnails that I have on, yeah, on this channel where i said the power of one you have all seven i think you had uh how did the picture the queen was in the middle on one side i think you have edward uh edward and his wife and uh william and then on the other side you have uh, uh who was there uh no andrew was not there i think it was uh, uh the daughter uh anne and uh charles and camilla or something like that yeah all of them 
versus one. And Harry was a, a different picture that I put where he pretty much was carrying the institution, make the institution look good. And then they hated him for that. Meanwhile, he left. He literally left. Well, they push him out. And they still haven't done anything to make the people happy. I mean, royalists will be royalists no matter what, because there's some people who love to live in pain. But there are those who's resenting it because especially with the Channel 4 documentary, knowing that uh, the institution is uh, getting money from NHS when they should be giving money to NHS and different organizations, different places. So they're cashing in. They don't care about the people. So some of the people are starting to see the light. <laughs> I'm, I'm giggling because the U.S. is turning like that. You see what we're having as a president-elect. But anyway, so that's that. Should I read the caption again? Because I stop in between. For years, the British royal family expected Prince Harry to carry their weight, all while resenting him for being the most relatable and popular member of the Gilded Clan. That family, good King Harry. That's that. I'm not going to read the article. Next tweet. I think that has to do with Santa Bali. Okay, let's pause. Prince Harry co-founded Santa Bali with Prince Yoso of Lesotho in 2006 in honor of their late mothers. The charity aims to support children and young people affected by HIV, AIDS in Lesotho and Botswana. Uh, and I believe uh, December 1st is uh, World AIDS Day or something like that. I read a, uh, a tweet from uh, uh, my last video. Um, talking about that, okay, Africa. Africa is Africa's in my heart. Africa's in my soul. I first went there when I was 12, 13 years old, and after so many years, I wanted to give back to it because it had given me so much. The vast open space, the cultures, the communities, the people, the the wildlife, just the. The freedom was a huge piece of why I loved Africa so much. We call it Sintabali. In Sasutu, the local language, it means forget me not. And it's really focused on ensuring that the younger generation are quite literally not forgotten. Both Princess's mother and my mother had a strong focus on HIV and AIDS, but also of the younger generation because it's their futures that are being stolen from them. And at the heart of Sintabali, what we've always believed is that every single young person should have a chance at a better future. Okay. So there's a music in the background. I'm going to have to mute it or put my own music. Let me read some of the comment. And there's a tweet that I saw. I did not put it on the list. That's regarding Princess Diana. I don't even think I liked it. So it could pop up on my like folder. Okay. When William went to South Africa, he copied word for word part of what Harry was saying. Like Africa is, <laughs> is a part of him. He loved the culture and the people. What BS William hates Africa and think the people are overpopulated his words okay his speech didn't make sense because it was copy and paste <laughs> our good prince harry and well hiv aids day he continued to fight the good fight for the vulnerable children and the world that's an ad that's that let me go look for it and share it with you okay so this is it here i put it on the list if we're talking about princess diana let's remember her leadership and changing public opinion about hiv aids in april 1987 she was photographed shaking hands with aids patients at a time when many still believe it was transmitted through touch all right so there she is shaking his hand <laughs> Okay, she was a gem. I remember the shock. The night she died, I remember exactly where I was. A pivotal moment. Yeah. So that's that. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next week. There's no more comments. So I thought I'd share it with you since we were, Harry's uh, video was talking about uh, Santa Bali and it was World Mental, uh, not Mental, World AIDS Day. Next tweet. All right, there's no comment on this. Once upon a time, a real-life prince met his forever love. Their love blossomed so much, it made some miserable people uncomfortable. They planted lies and hateful stories everywhere to destroy their love, but fell. Harry and Meghan defeated every force, sent and proved love always went. All right, so there's this image here. I remember that. <laughs> my wife got it. <laughs> the smile and there they are here okay so there's no comment let's go to the next one this video is gonna be very quick because um 
I didn't want to mix this tweet with the other one. All right, this one I saw, the caption really caught my attention. Not only the image, the GIF, but the caption. Prince Harry and Spare watching Meghan's Instagram. For 42 years, I've watched a conveyor belt of faces pass by and only a handful ever made me look twice. Her confidence and joy was a magnet, captain of his soul. Okay, Prince Harry was activated. That is true. I remember if you guys go back to some of my old videos prior to uh, the docuseries, prior to Spare, I remember talking about heavy look going to, I don't know, social media. I think that's what I said. I don't think I specify uh, Instagram, but I remember saying him going to uh, social media, looking at Megan's um, uh, posts and things like that. One hand going through something and one hand doing some other things. <laughs> I don't want to repeat them. I used to go crazy with these things. I didn't know. I didn't know this is where he first met Megan on Instagram. I mean, first view of Megan. But I remember talking about these things. Um, and I was shocked when I heard it was really true. And I was throwing just my humble opinion left and right. I used to say some crazy stuff on my um, when I first started. Okay, so that's the video here. And I have a video where I made out of uh, when he first met Megan. And I turned it into a, a music video. Okay, so go watch it. I'll put the thumbnails of that video. All right, so there's no comment. Let's go to the next one. Okay, Prince Harry walking with the wounded wristband was seen as he visits RAF, Royal Air Force. There they are here. Walking with, there's that here. Prince Harry is the only real man in this family. That's an ad. There's no more comment. There's the wristband. All right, next tweet. Many of these tweets did not have, or not only did, but don't have any comments. Maybe one or two tweets, uh, responses. Okay, I always find the divorce rumor about Harry and Meghan's laughable. So he retweeted that if it's one thing Harry and Meghan are going to do is hold hands and oh those yellow teeth people hate to see it <laughs> that's them when they were um in canada to visit uh, uh for the invictus and this is uh what is it william reeves that's uh christopher reeves the actor who died that's his son who was the one who was interviewing him there was another i don't want to go too much on it I was just gonna say there was a interview that they did with him and his sister and brother um, talking about uh, what happened after uh, the you know his mother passed because the siblings the half siblings are not the same uh, mother but same father it was very touching it's on ABC on YouTube okay so let's get back to this I always find the divorce rumors about Harry and Meghan laughable Okay, he won't even let her walk two feet without reaching for her hand. And that's what this one was talking about. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Should I go into this? All right, let's see what some people are saying here. Okay, they make me smile. Okay, let's pause. They hate the real love on display, so try to destroy it while copying it for PR purposes only. Clowns will clown. Okay, salty islands, check. Rain and beans, check. Yellow teeth people, check 100%. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. That's quite or something. <laughs> oh my lord. Next one. Okay, Queen Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex award-winning podcast, was number one podcast in 47 countries with 10 million listeners downloads per episode. Yeah. Um, I think she was the only one who took uh, Joe Rogan off number one when her podcast was uh, playing. Her podcast took Joe Rogan off. Uh, Can you imagine if... I don't want to get her involved into politics. We know what will happen. Let's leave the state of mind like this. Let me not start anything. Let's go to the next tweet. There's no comment. This is extra, but I don't want to go to it. Next one. I have to wake up my son in a few. It's already 528. All right. All right. So this one I want to read. A full interactive dialogue between Harry and Meghan and their kids in front of the cut interviewer. Yet those move on claim they don't exist. All right, let's see here. 
Okay, somehow Archie knows his mother is at the gate of his preschool before the teacher even throws it open to set him free. He's so excited to see her, repeating, Mama, 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 and his little voice as he runs toward her that he leaves his lunchbox behind on the ground. She scoops him up in a big hug, so full of genuine emotion that both close their eyes. I remember reading this, uh, what was it? Last year, I think? We pull up to the house and Archie leaps out. Heavy is ending a phone call as Archie throws himself around his legs. Little Beth, unsmiling with watchful bright blue eyes, is brought out by her nanny. She is small and also ginger, and when there is a small person in the room not smiling, it is a reflex to do anything to entertain them. Heavy started dancing to his own <laughs> beatboxing, and Megan bends down and join in, and then I find myself doing it too, until she gives a lopsided smile, and we all realize it's a bit strange to be bonding in <laughs> this way. <laughs> that is so cute. <clears throat> that's that there's so much joy and you could feel the joy that they have in that house okay and i've always said though between those two the one people should be afraid of is little bit for some reason i feel like she's gonna be very fierce it's someone who probably will stand up for archie not that archie will not stand up for her but i could see her take the initiative you know to be like don't mess with my brother don't mess with me this type of things i don't know why okay I do not know why you guys could come after me saying leave those kids alone. But I always feel she's going to be a very tough one to not mess with. Okay, the comments are closed. This is a ad and there's a loving eye. Now, this is my last one. And then after that, I have to wake up my son. Next tweet. Okay, so let's pause this. This is sad. Okay, I was trying not to put sad things on here. But uh, I might remove it, put it. Uh, by itself because I have another tweet about Trump maybe I'll put these two together let's see how sad this is Alright, so should I do a prayer? Prayer for what? Prayer for prosperity and a uh, better future. Okay, dear, I type prayer for prosperity and better future. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart open to abundance. Bless my endeavors and guide me toward honest opportunities that lead to financial prosperity. Grant me the wisdom to manage my resources wisely and the discipline to save for a secure future. All right, so that's that. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. That's it. Thank you for watching.